Hey everyone, welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today we're going to explore the Photos app in iOS 26. You'll see how to browse, search, organize, and use the new features, especially the exciting new spatial 3D effect. By the end, you'll feel confident navigating your photos on iOS 26. Let's get started. Let's start with what's changed in iOS 26. Let me open the Photos app. What's gone is the one page, everything in one place layout from iOS 18. In iOS 26, Apple brings back a tab bar at the bottom for easier navigation. The tab bar has three main tabs, the library, collections, and search. The search tab is no longer separate. The design uses Apple's new liquid glass styling, so buttons, bars, and overlays are translucent and softly rounded. Also, Apple has refined how collections work. Now you can collapse or expand collections. So let me click on that and you'll see that you can collapse or expand and reorder them. But note that in iOS 26, you cannot hide certain collections like you could in iOS 18. The library tab is your primary timeline of photos and videos. You'll see your images in a grid with the newest images located at the bottom. As you scroll, the library collection bar shrinks into a small icon in the bottom left corner to give you more space for your photos. If you tap the small icon, you can see that you can switch back to library or collections. The search button is now on the right and at the top of the library, you'll find filters and view options. So if I tap on the three dots, here's where you'll find your filters and view options. Let me click out of that. You also have a select button for bulk actions. Let me close that out. You can zoom in and out of the grid using a pinch gesture. So if I pinch uh, with my index finger and thumb, if I pinch out, you'll see that the photos uh, grow larger. If I begin to pinch in, you'll see that the thumbnails become much smaller. So take a look at some of these features so that you can see how to use them. Let's move over to the Collections tab. At the top, you'll see Recent Days. And these are photos that are organized by day. Then you'll see people and pets. Below that, pinned, memories, trips, albums. If I continue to scroll, you'll see media types and utilities. Collections are now collapsible. So if I tap on the arrow next to the collection name, I can collapse these or I can tap on the header to expand the contents so it makes the view a little less cluttered. If you want to reorder your collection, so if what I just read to you, yours is not in that order, if I tap on the three dots in the upper right corner, I have an option to reorder. I'll choose that. And now using the hamburger icons, I can drag any of the collections into the order that I prefer. Now, unlike iOS 18, you cannot hide a collection type in iOS 26. Once you've reordered your collections, go ahead and tap on the blue uh, check mark in the upper right corner and your reordered collections will be the, in the order that you place them. Search is now its own tab, making it more accessible. So let me tap the search bar at the bottom and you'll get some uh, 
information here that you may want to use as a search, but you can search by names, places, object, or even descriptive phrases like dogs in a park. Apple intelligence powers smart interpretation. So as you type, suggestions will appear. Tap one to see the matching photos for that suggestion. After doing a search, go ahead. So if I just tap in uh, cats, you'll see that I get a whole list of cats. Once I'm finished with that, I can tap on the X right here, close that out, and it'll bring me back to the collections page. Also, if you open a photo in iOS 26, it now supports event recognition. So if your phone identifies a photo that is tied to a concert, show, or venue, a small ticket icon may appear. Tap it to get details like artist, date, and related material. One of iOS 26's coolest new features is spatial scenes, turning a flat photo into a subtle 3D effect. So I've opened a photo in full view, and if the photo is eligible, you'll see a little hexagon icon in the top right of the photo. Tap it to enable the spatial scene effect. Once it's enabled, if you move or tilt your iPhone slightly, the background shifts while the subject stays in place, creating a lovely depth effect. You can also use that spatial scene image as a lock screen wallpaper for dynamic effect. Give it a try, it's pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at maybe organizing and cleaning up things inside of collections. So if I tap albums under collections, here you'll see all of the albums that you created. To create a new one, tap the plus sign in the upper right corner, choose new album, give it a name, and begin adding photos. If I want to remove a photo from an album, all you need to do is long press on that photo that you want to remove, and you'll see a couple of options appear. If I tap on delete, this would remove the photo completely from the device. But if I push and hold and I tap on remove from album, the photo will then remain in the photos app, but it won't be in your album anymore. Let's come back to utility. So I'm gonna tap out of there and I'm gonna tap the back button. I'm going to tap one more time to get back to the main collections page. I'm going to scroll down until I see utilities. I'm going to expand utilities and you'll see an option for duplicate. It shows repeated photos. You can review and merge duplicates, keeping the best version. I'm going to tap on the back button again. And now let's come into people and pets. If I tap on people and pets, you'll see that the faces are here and grouped together. You can rename a face. So if I push and hold on a face, here I can say don't feature Connie Gibson. I can favorite that if I want. I can also edit the name in photos so that any photo that has that name on it, it's going to be removed from the name and I won't see it anymore. But you can merge similar persons and you can remove incorrect tags if you need to. So go ahead and start naming uh, people in your photos and you'll see that uh, eventually your photos will start to be recognized as those people. So that was a quick tour of photos in iOS 26. Go ahead and take a look at it. Explore the tab navigation, library, and collections, and enjoying the new spatial scenes feature. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.